everybody it's Ellie Diecast and in this video we're gonna do kind of catch up on a few things um, first we're gonna take a look at the cat diecast 797f dump truck it's only one one hundred and one scale and it's still gigantic just to give you a price idea of what we're looking at there's a Hot Wheels car, so it's a big old thing. We're going to take a look at this, take it out of the box, see what it looks like. Uh, also, we're going to take a look at Pato's Place. And if you don't know what that is, for the customizers out there, it is a fantastic resource of a site. We'll take a look at that in the second half. So um, let's take a look at this cat dump truck. Now, this is by uh, Cat Diecast. And to tell you the truth, I don't know. Let's see if it says here it's by toy state right there and i don't know if this is a brand of a company we're used to i don't think so there's the back yeah you can see downstairs down below it's toy state industrial made in china toystate.com you can get these on um on uh, ebay if you want so the box is really big like I showed you before there's a uh, matchbox car so one one hundredth and one scale does not necessarily mean small these trucks in real life are monster size so the cab is up in here you can't it's hard to see in the box but we'll take a look at it when we get it out um, and the reason I got this well partially because I had been talking to a friend of mine that I uh, buy stuff for and um, he wanted to, to look at these cat uh, die casts a little bit more closely but also because the um, the mountain next to us here in Southern California where I live they've got a couple just monstrous dump trucks out there and I'm sure they're not this particular one this one's made for mining and um, so they they have three of these monstrous dump trucks, and I never realized how big these things were, so I was kind of just infatuated with, with these monster-sized <laughs> construction vehicles. They also make a, a smaller scale. This is the, uh, what is this, 194 scale, and so there's kind of two groupings of these, and I'll give you a real quick look on the back of these. There's three uh, vehicles as part of the one what was this 185th scale I think it was 185th 194th sorry 194 scale so there's three in that scale and then there are two trucks as part of this one 101 scale you can see the scale right there between the two different ones these run about thirteen dollars they're not overly expensive and the smaller ones run about uh, eight seven or eight bucks so we'll take a look at this um, and I will be right back I need a Phillips screwdriver I just noticed it said that on the box so I'll be right back okay we're back and let's get this guy out of the box it's for ages eight and up it's supposed to have some moving parts I assume the bed is going to move on it but we'll see if anything else does it's uh, packaged kind of like we expect these cars to be packaged. It's going to be attached to that base, I betcha, and it's going to have all sorts of little gizmos holding it in place. So it looks like we've got some screws in there. They're way down there. So I'm going to go, yeah, okay. And I just noticed my screwdriver ain't going to fit. Be right back. I got to get a bigger screwdriver. All right, we're back. I've got a better screwdriver here. This should do the trick. And I expect these will be pretty, pretty hardy vehicles. Um, I've been interested in these cat vehicles for a while, but I don't usually get construction vehicles but I thought I'd treat myself to this one okay I think we've got it out of there let's get these guys out of the way and 
Here is our truck. Move his background out of the way for a second. It's got this little, this little belt, this little safety belt here. That's to keep him from bouncing around in the in the truck. So, looking at him right off the bat, kind of spin him around. Wheels, solid wheels. They are a rubbery type of wheel. These are kind of the same type of rubber wheels that you'd find on a Tonka. So they're not squishy rubber, but they're not plastic. They have the feel of rubber. Kind of like a very hard rubber or silicon wheel. There's the cab I was telling you about. Look how big this is. If you had to get in your car and you had to walk up the stairs just to get into the car, it's more of a rolling platform. The uh, bed does not, doesn't look like it stays up. It's too heavy. This is all metal, by the way. The entire truck is metal. It feels like the little stairs here are plastic. This is plastic. These are plastic. This is metal, I think. Yeah, I think that's metal. The base is plastic, but this is metal here, so pretty cool truck. You can use it to carry stuff around. You know, we can dump a bunch of... I gotta have some cars. Here, here we go. Let's see how many Hot Wheel cars this thing can hold. <laughs> it can hold even other other construction vehicles. So we looks like we can hold about oh five or six Hot Wheels, dump them, go get some more. <laughs> I think if you played with this too hard, the front end would probably break off. If this smashed into things too often, it wouldn't. There's a lot of weight here. So if you're getting this for kids, keep in mind, this is more in line with like those old Tonka trucks us adults played with when we were kids. Start swinging this thing around, you're gonna hurt somebody. There's also some sharp, sharper type edges on it, so. But all in all, that's a pretty cool little toy for the cost, and um, I like it. I'm gonna put this in my office on my table. We'll haul some stuff around the office with it. But uh, yeah, the Cat 979F. By the way, a few stats about this thing, just to show you how massive this truck is. This thing has 4,000 horsepower or at least gross 4,000 horsepower. It's not gonna go very fast. <laughs> the engine is probably as big as a normal sports car in this thing. Um, it can haul up to 400 tons. So we were playing around with the back, but this thing is a mining truck. It's made for like the heaviest of the heaviest stuff you can imagine. Giant boulders, mountainsides, that type of thing can haul 400 tons that's actually amazing and it costs about five million bucks and that's probably for the base model <laughs> so five million dollars so we we get excited about our our fancy exotic cars that cost millions of dollars and this thing costs just way more than that so fun little truck okay I'm gonna get cleaned up here in a second we'll be back and we'll talk about Pato's place which has nothing to do with cat trucks but uh, is the other piece I wanted to talk about in this video. I'll be right back. Hello, we are back. And this is the second half of our little video today. This is kind of our variety show video. Uh, I wanted to talk about Pato's Place. And I knew about this store probably about six months ago. I had bookmarked it, meaning to get back around to it. I got back around to it about oh, a few weeks ago. And what it is, is it's a site online that sells water slide decals and uh, other types of decals. Now, it's, I think its focus is on slot car racing, which for those of you that are involved in slot car racing, you know that's just a rabid customizing community on making your own slot cars and um, decorating them with decals and so forth. The custom Hot Wheels side of things probably not quite as crazed as the slot car folks are but this site is just a really cool site if you're into customizing your hot wheels 
And the reason it's so cool, let me show you one of these here. So I ordered, um, uh, I think I ordered six different sets. And I don't know if these are going to focus too well. Is that right set up? Yeah. So this is one of the sponsor sets. And you can see there, there's about, oh, I don't know, maybe six sets of each decal in there. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe eight. I'll say eight sets of each decal. This is the 164 scale. You can see the next one, they're even smaller. That's the sponsors, different sponsors there. And do you notice anything different about those than what you usually see? Do you notice anything different about those than the ones I can make? <laughs> These have white printed in them. See the white? Catch that with the light. And they're clear water slide decals printed in white. So what that means is you don't have to cut exactly up to the edge. Man, my fingers are always filled with paint. <laughs> um, they're, you don't have to cut right to the edge because it's a clear water slide decal. But it's got white printed in it. And if you're wondering, well, how do you do that? Well, you use a special printer. <laughs> and I think he uses an Alps printer. That's the the easiest, best way I know of to do this. I actually looked into Alps printing. It's Alps, A-L-P-S, if you're interested. Alps printers print in white. Normal printers don't. That's why we use white water slide decals. But when you use a white water slide decal, you have to cut exactly around the border of the shape that you want. And if you're using squares and rectangles, maybe even circles, it's not that hard. But if you're cut, trying to cut around, where's the uh, Hot Wheels one here? Oh, here we go. If you're trying to cut around, say, the Hot Wheels logo, yeah, good luck. And even if you do, you're going to destroy that decal getting it onto your car with that kind of shape. You'll never get that small of a shape cut out. So uh, these, these are printed in white. That's pretty cool. Um, so the guy that runs the shop, and I don't know his name. I'm going to guess his name is Patos. <laughs> might be completely wrong. Might be Jim. <laughs> a very nice guy. I emailed him back and forth a few times with some questions. Um, I asked him if I could do this video. He said I could, so I could promote his site. And um, the uh, if you're interested in other scales, he has about every other scale you can imagine. Uh, some it looks like he's out of, but any of the scales we're interested in probably for Hot Wheels uh, die-cast customizing he seems to have. And I'm guessing he's still printing these out. Um, so if you're interested, I probably would just uh, talk directly to him. Go to the site, get his contact off of the site. Now, as far as the site goes, that's the second half. I wanted to show you the site. I'm going to have to go upstairs on my um, computer to do that. But... Um, I wanted to show you the site because there's just literally hundreds and hundreds of these sets there. And these are just the coolest things ever. And you guys know I've, I've played around with just about every type of printing you can do. My background's in digital printing and digital animation. So I know a little bit about, about making stuff on a computer and printing it out and getting it over to, to Diecast Customs. But these are just the slickest that I've ever seen. And I don't know if he's using model sheets for these and scaling them up and down or if he's using his own uh, artwork. I don't really care. I just think those are just gorgeous. And these one sheet, that one sheet is going to last me a long time. Each one of these sheets cost me $8. There's two sheets per page. I think they did. I'll say they were $8. I don't really remember. Um, I would have bought hundreds more if I could, but I'll probably never use all the decals even on those sheets. Um, this And he's in Australia as well. I should show you the packaging while I'm down here. The packaging was plenty good enough for these, so they didn't get damaged at all. They're sent airmail. I got this in less than a week. And with my experience going back to Australia, that's about right if they're shipped by airmail. Um, there was some protective... Uh, paperwork in here that that protected the the um, decals so these weren't going to get they weren't going to get hurt um, but i got them pretty quick they also come with instructions and i'll just show you the instructions really kind of quick just to show prove they exist 
Um, the instructions are written really well, so no worries about understanding the instructions. And he does have a couple different ways of applying these that I haven't tried. So I'm going to try the way that these are, it's recommended to, to apply them here. Again, it's Pato's Place. The actual web address I'll put here on the screen, www.pato's place, all one word. Or you can just Google Pato's Place and it'll go directly to it. And I found the Google links were a little bit easier to jump around with than the actual links on the website. So I'm going to cut off here and I'm going to go up to the computer and then I'll show you around the site. Okay, we're back and I'm upstairs now on the computer. I wanted to show you Pato's Place because... I know a lot of you guys do customs and if you don't know about this place you'll thank me because <laughs> this at best will save you a lot of times and even at the least will let you do some stuff you probably can't even do right now you can see slot cars I think is the emphasis but don't worry about that they these you see right uh, there HO which is basically 164 scale and uh, this has been around a long time so I know a lot of you already know about it um, but over here, now the interface is a little funky. So if you're gonna if you're gonna go to the site, you gotta get committed to it. Like I said, if you go through Google, you uh, you can kind of scoot through a lot of this stuff. But if I go over here, I had a couple of them set aside for you. If I go to say under S, so I'm under decals and S. So decals. Oops, sorry about that. Decals and S. And way down at the bottom, by the way, there is a lot of them here. Look at all those. Those are all decal sheets. <laughs> so if I go down here to say something like sponsors, 164 scale, and that's the sheet that I would get. And those are all 164 scale. Think how many cars you could make just with that one sheet. Now there's tons of them here. Just the sponsors alone. There's like 20 different sponsor sheets here. There's the Atlas sponsors. Uh, this is sponsor sheet five. I don't even know what it is, but you'll see there's just tons of them. These are all clear water slide decals, but printed in white. And here's some more sponsor decals. And so I again, I don't know if these are are actual model sheets that are being converted or if these are made but clearly whoever does this knows what they're doing <laughs> with cars um, and if I just go to any like this is K's if I go to any of these um, categories there's just tons of these I mean you can see you can make almost any real racing car or or um, team that you want so here's Jack Daniels I know I think it was uh, uh, one of the guys that I sell to is asking for Jack Daniels you can see there's some Jack Daniel decals all different scales I mean look there's at least like three four different Jack Daniels here's Jack Daniels racing you see tons of different sizes there so really a cool site these can also be done in uh, printed stick on vinyl so if you don't want to mess with the water slide techniques to get these on your car you could certainly um, do the stick on vinyl um, it's going to be a little bit thicker but it's far easier so if you're a beginner you can do that and I think anything is available on any of these surfaces because I think he's He's printing them up. You can see right up there. Following is a list of water slide decals and vinyl peel and stick decals that I have available. So I just think this site is awesome. I spent about two hours the other day looking through these, and I haven't looked through nearly all of them. You can see there's Cunningham Racing. Just a very neat site. So again, um, I've posted the site. I would recommend to go go visit it we want patos to be in business for a very long time for us so uh that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye